five minute game. Five minutes with zero increment. Just get some practice in here. Oh, there we go. Again. Right. Let's go. What have we got installed today? Okay. We had a nice start with the five minute game, but um, I'm just got this kind of feeling it's going to start going a little bit wrong. Let's take. Okay, so. Let's bring the night out. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking not Kingside Castling now because they've opened up this file. But I bet you on evaluation it says, no, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. I'm moving my queen, getting ready for Queenside Castling. I'm not as good as a computer, so I'll, I'm not going to take that chance. Does mean he'll swarm in with his knight and get the queen down here, that type of activity. He may be considering getting queenside castled himself. Yes, he's on his way. Let's castle. Oh, nice touch. Could see them with that pawn push. That's all they were waiting for. So I can gladly take those, just need to shift the king over a little bit because obviously this diagonal is a bit troublesome because we can't get any activity on the centre. Yep, so he's starting activity on the centre, he's, he's trying to do stuff to make us lose tempi. If we take, maybe his knight takes or maybe the pawn takes, we'll have like a one, two, We've got three pieces on this pawn. So we're going to take. Let's see what magic they've got coming our way. He might take with his knight because then he's got like a two on one here. Yeah, so he's realised that we've got like 50 million pieces there and we can't take because of that type of situation. He's going to take here. And we can take now with the queen. So it's looking like a move order thing, but we'll see, because this, this pawn's probably going now. But we're plus two, so we shouldn't be too greedy in that sense. Does take, could take back with the pawn, center, centralize it. Uh, but we can't because the bishop's protecting so we're going to take with the rook obviously so this pawn goes if he takes though he's going to have to do his tempo right isn't he so the bishop's going to take the bishop first or else we get a pawn yeah exactly so oh we lose the rook <laughs> oh I'm going to have to x-ray through here can always move now and attack the rook but we take with a check and we won't win the bishop because the bishop will come back here okay so let's call this a draw then dude oh we win the pawn oh he's let us have that position oh that moment there but the rook is in the center of the board so we have to be careful don't want to get it trapped okay so we could pin the bishop pin the bishop to the rook for now because I don't want to get the rook trapped we have to look at trying to get a decent position now so maybe owning the file here so he's actually castled going to attack his rook see if he's going for it still need to move my king out of the way um, oh 
don't really want to give him anything for free so I'm going to just push this pawn here Anno annoying thing would be bringing this pawn here blocking the, my rook from attacking this pawn I do have a knight which could get into the activity but it looks like it will be a bit slower he's just doing stuff mm -hmm. If we go and attack, he takes the pawn, we take back either way. Oh, but hold on, we've got this menacing situation again with the x ray through. All the time, it's this x ray through. <sighs> so, if we moved to attack the pawn, he takes, we take, the bishop takes with a check and then gets the rook. If we take, his pawn takes his pawns on our pawn uh, I'm just taking looks to I need to move the damn king out of the way so if the pawn does take then we can move the king out of the way I think now we've got the tempo to do that so if he takes then we can just take back here Pins are so annoying, especially on your king. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. Simplifying down. I think now his bishop's potentially going here, but he doesn't really want to lose his. Okay, right. So we we want to get that bishop, don't we? But we need to give our king a flight square. Make it a half decent one onto a dark square, not a white square. So I think positive defense here now. Positive defense. We've got the same amount of pieces. We're, we're plus two. So now he's escaped his. Let's take. And shall we just defend? Yeah, like I said, just gonna have to defend as best possible. Their time is running out. So whether or not we can do something with that. Try and get the knight in the game a bit, but don't want to get it trapped. Attacking the bishop at the moment. Sometimes I don't see backward movement movements for the knight. Looking to squeeze there if he does something funky, but maybe not. I don't think he's gonna. Yeah, it's blocked that access. Let's attack the bishop with a smaller piece. Just giving them something to think about. We can start pushing this pawn up as well. So let's attack the bishop again. Of hoping they make a mistake, but that's really taking the time over the move. Z. Okay, so knight can put a check on, it's nothing meaty, it's on a white square, king's on a dark square, so that's okay. Just gonna put a check on the king just to give them something to think about. Don't want to go too high up though, because we don't want to get trapped. Let's just bring it here. He's looking, he's doing a drawn type situation. Let's push the pawn now. on this pawn here because this pawn is going to drop down onto my knight so I'm actually going to push the pawn up it's also blocking the knight coming here okay so push this pawn so he's attacking this pawn here with his uh, bishop so I'm going to put a check on the king and do, 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 do. I'm going to push the pawn protecting bishop comes down feels like it's uh, winning a moment let's go here with the pawn knight sorry they've got no time left ok so let's have a look at the analysis on that one break it down the knights out attacking the knights just checking what the computer's saying on the eval bar side of things and we capture the knight this is a very slow eval bar so it's um, we have to just wait a minute really does take its time in fact I don't even think it's catching up yet is it it's not even moving 
chess.com you need to sort out your valbar you need to make, make it real time live not like 10 seconds later okay I'm wanting to look at how we're performing this is going to take ages come on speed up so not, not point 0.3 it's currently out there not point 0.4 type thing let's wait five minutes now see what it's deciding so it dropped to not point 0.1 so it's not really happy with that capture really but it's nothing major like I said the see I'm moving too fast here for the eval bar it's not taking ages Do you know there is another site that has a very speedy um, eval bar? Just saying. Okay, so we're pushing through here. So that was a nice touch, you know, putting pressure onto our king area, uh, onto the queen. But in essence, it does lose them a little bit of tempi. I mean, it looks like the gauge bars are green with, with us there. So um, minus 0.9 ish, 7. Either way, it's solely small potatoes. But yeah, that losing small tempi every every now and then does kind of spoil your position and any plans that you've got. So we just defend, bring the bishop off the back, and just see, waiting to see if there's any massive drops. So I do like to see the massive drops because then that's something to work with. So then they pushed on to our knight, and it's not actually unhappy with that. This part, I thought that it, it might have caused us a bit of issue, but we seem to do the tempo right. Because they've got this annoying pin through here, you know, with the... Yep. And at any moment, I don't think I had the tempo to move the king. Because they kept on giving us... Maybe I could have moved it at this point. Maybe I could have moved it at this point, because then, even if the bishop takes, then at least we've got the pawn taking. But I was thinking about pawn structure, you know, and I was thinking, well, maybe I don't want to double pop. I've already queenside castled, so I should have been focused on just letting that pawn get doubled up, and then I could be bringing my rooks here, and then I'm owning the file because I've already queenside castled. Ah, duh. This is why I love doing eval. Yeah, yeah, major. In fact, that that's quite major for the time spent thinking about this pin that they had on my queen and my king. That was a waste of quality time. When really all I needed to be doing is focusing on... I've, I moved to the queen side castling because they started this activity. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm annoyed with myself now because it's so plain and obvious I'm there going keep in the back of my head I'm keep that pawn structure I don't need to keep the pawn structure it's there ready for us to own the file okay so these next few moves now are a kind of a waste of time because realistically we would should have moved the king and we're still panicking now because he's pushing down he knows what they he or she knows what they're attempting to do they're wanting to get my queen you know basically with that pin through so we captured captured but the move order appeared to be on our side which was a blessing so it's now minus two so that's like the serious area whereby um we're actually doing not too bad so in essence maybe shouldn't beat myself up too much because the advantage was gained by doing what we did just want to have a look I don't know what the opponent would have done, so I can't really speak for the opponent, but let's, instead of this bishop move, move the king. just want to see how it may have looked. Move the king. People are precious about their bishops, but say that maybe they, say they did. Yeah, okay, say they did, and we captured. Okay. And they want to go queenside castling, don't they, really? So... Do they do this or would, yeah, they do that because they won't have any fear of this because the queen will just take the bishop. So they move there because they want to go on castle queenside. 
we said we want to kind of own the file with the rook but is there something else that we need to be considering before we do that bishop can do it you know just bring the rook then if we're rushed to make a move so that's what we wanted to do on this file it's showing 0 0.8 at the minute so it's nothing major so then they go and queenside castle right okay so that's the kind of position that we would have ended up in and that's 0 0.7 so the other way that we did the way that we did do gave us more advantage so should be quite happy with that actually okay right yeah i'm i'm feeling happier but what i want to do in my evaluations going forward next time is to consider the other moves rather than focusing on the pin of the piece because that's really what i was focusing all the way through this and maybe sometimes you just don't have to do that but it did give us a massive advantage so we did it right okay cool so bishop came through so we captured and we we won the move order situation I want to see how messy this is here so okay it's still showing minus two and it's gone up minus 2.22 yet okay rooks in the center of the board but it did give us that position this is the position that we wanted really in, in being able to take this bishop and actually get this pawn as well so we get a, a pawn for it so they allowed us to get that let's just block the screen so we captured, captured, again still being squinchy because the rook is, is in the centre of the board. But then they give us the opportunity to pin their bishop to the rook. Look at that gauge bar. It's not on our side anymore. It's 2.2 for white. Look at that. Because I mean simply he can just move his bishop here can't he? Wow, that is a massive, massive drop of advantage. Let's just go back. Come on, Gage, back. Catch up, catch up. Right, 2.4, minus 2.3. In fact, minus 2.6 now it's gone to. We capture. Let's wait for it to think about what it's doing. Minus 2.7 pawn captures come on gauge bar when you're ready 2.2 so it's not happy with the capture well, what else is, am I supposed to do hmm it's 2.6 2.6 is it this knight knight coming here attacking this pawn oh yeah knight coming here attacking this pawn and this pawn Oh dear, and if he drops there, Rook puts a check on. Although it's gone down to 2.3, but I suppose it's a little bit better positionally. Yeah, that looked, that looked nice. Okay, so we took the palm. Oh, what am I doing? We took the palm. 2.2. Then they pushed down. Maybe we're not meant to face the. Maybe we're not supposed to pin. It's going to 2.7. Oh, damn. Maybe we're supposed to just keep it here. Rather than go for the pin. 2.2. Mm, it's not a happy Larry, really, is it? King could come and attack the rook. 2.5 I think it's happier I do take my time with evaluation but you know this is how I learn so you're in my practice session oops so we put the pin that's when it drops interesting times that's that's like a big drop though isn't it so are they, are they expecting that maybe doesn't like that so it's not going to be that move mm -hmm. oh 
that's why it's bad because the bishop takes with a check on the king the damn pin oh the damn pin could have saved them oh you've got to move your king off of them x-rays you definitely got to move your king this is why it's probably better us doing the other way <laughs> you know actually moving moving the king then trying to own this file or playing this slightly differently so yeah so we're okay here so it's about not having those threats so in essence maybe we could just bring come here and attack this pawn or we could just do what we did which was come here and then at least then if he does do that we take freely scary times right okay so I don't think we need to do anything else really do we now um, that was a big yeah yeah got to watch that x-ray right so that was the loser although it's a two point Bum, bum, bum. Got to wait for it to drop. Yeah, so it drops there. Then we move. He's still got it. Yeah, he's still got that position. So, wow, we let it hang there forever. And then we supported it. So once we supported the rook, then that bishop attack would no longer hold any weight. Wow. Didn't even see that. Thought it was being clever. Sh I would say shabby. Oh my gosh. It's getting worse. Right. Yeah, we didn't actually know what to do here. We thought, well, just take these down. Because he's got that annoying pin with the bishop. That was the winner for them. Did I take with the wrong pawn? Let it think, let it think. It's still going down to one point something. Hmm. Maybe it's a simple rook defense. Is it thinking 2.7? Ooh, from three. Oh, it's three. So it's only dropped point seven ish. I suppose that's better than nothing, isn't it? Because we can take back simple potatoes. Yeah, I could live with that. Excellent. Okay, lots of little pointers in here to pick up on. Okay, let's keep cracking on. So, doesn't like that. It's not happy with that. And, well. I'm feeling like it's getting a bit okay for us now so it doesn't really matter what the gauge bar says to me now because I'm feeling fairly comfortable with this position we can trade down and just make movements up it could drop right down to um, 69 for white at this in this current position it really don't make a difference with it. it's not really a lost position for us uh, maybe one thing maybe was the element of them actually gaining a pawn so maybe we didn't need to overreg the situation and, and allow that to happen you know we could have kept our knight back here and just moved the king that type of thing really so I've got to bear that in mind just because the knight had not done anything throughout the game there's no point in jumping it all over the place and that was me trying to be fancy with my knight. All I needed to do was just sit it right from where it started from, basically, and just move my king around. So you don't want to give three pieces up for nothing, even if the opponent's time is running out. Because you never know. So we pushed. Got a bit of a check. Yeah, so we allowed the, that piece to be taken, which isn't good. And then they ran out of time. Excellent learning session. Five minute zero increment. 